Hey everyone, uh, this is Yvonne Zussel with the AGC Dining Team. I'm here with Shingo Gokan, the uh, creative director at Himitsu in Buckhead. Uh, he also owns two bars in Shanghai, and he just won the title of International Bartender of the Year at Tales of the Cocktail in New Orleans. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, today we're going to be learning how to make two cocktails, one classic sidecar, and then a Benton Cappuccino, which is a drink that Shingo uh, made up himself and going to show us how to make both of them. So we're gonna start with the sidecar, right? Sure. All right, let's do it. Cool. Uh, um, so sidecar is a very popular drink in all of the world, even in US, Asia, and Europe. Uh, today I'm going to make very classic way sidecar with a little bit of a different technique uh, of Japanese technique. As a base, uh, pale feminine, um, <laughs> light and smooth. Very good for cocktails. 60 ml of that. Sorry, I'm using an ml. Instead of one cis, <laughs> I'm growing up in Netflix Japan, system, so yeah. I'm using a 60 ml project. And Quantro, uh, triple sec, um, or dry crystal, whatever you call. I particularly use Quantro uh, for the drink. And how much? Uh, 18 ml. Okay. And uh, fresh lemon juice. Okay. So you can uh, squeeze that at a time. Yeah. Uh, so I particularly use this kind of a uh, hand squeezer instead of a uh, presser or electric machine because um, it's you get a uh, very fresh and less bitter juice. Uh -huh. So if you use this type of yeah, squeezer, rather yeah, than because if you do this, uh, pre pressure is gonna goes to the skin and you get all the oil of the lemon, so mm. it goes very bitter. So just gently squeeze the lemon juice to get a freshness of a lemon juice. Oh, that's really interesting. And how much lemon juice do you use? Uh, 15. 15 yep. ml. <laughs> 15 ml. <Okay. laughs> and if, all, all the drink, make sure stir and taste before you shake. <laughs> so just put a little dab yeah. in your hand? I don't. I wouldn't use a straw because it's not really good for, you know, using that of straw is not, it's not really good. It's know, not good to, yeah, to, to No, to for taste. the earth. Oh, for, <laughs> oh it's environmental. It. Yeah, okay. so, <laughs> so I use a spoon to taste all the time. Because for the guest, mm -hmm. make sure that drink quality is always good and also, you know, always tra uh, tasting and, you know, training your palate to, you know, so you're improve always tasting your, as you go you know, along. tasting yeah. skill as well. Okay, great. And then, um, particularly for this drink, I use uh, one big ice cube instead of a lot of big, a uh, lot of ice cube because um, when you drink cognac, you don't chill. Uh -huh. You warm up and drink, you enjoy the aroma of the cognac, so I don't want to make it too cold for a uh, cognac drink sidecar. So just put the one ice cube to get enough air uh -huh. to make it smooth and not too chill. So that's the trick for this drink. Wow. Do they make um, ice cube trays that big? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we order. We yeah, order, I figured yeah, it was yeah. probably special so, order. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this kind of ice from the machine, ice machine is more softer. This is more and uh, harder. Mm -hmm. So it's you can you can uh, shake harder to put more aeration. For your okay. Drink. So if anybody's making this at home or making a sidecar at home, though, they just have to settle for the smaller ice cubes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right. So and then uh, need to put a lot of air. Use their snap. How long do you typically? Depends on the temperature. Depends on the drink. Okay. Uh, I can't really say how long. Okay. Oh. It's just when the spirit moves you. Yeah. <laughs> so using a room temperature glass instead of a chill glass because of the you know again the side part the, the, shouldn't be it's too cold. Should be too cold, yeah. right? Okay. And there we go. This is side card. That's beautiful. All right. Now we are on to the Benton Cappuccino. Yep. All right, all right. Um, all right. And uh, you are just joining us. We are here with Shingo Gokan, the creative director at Mitsu, and we are making a couple of cocktails. Um, he was just named the International Bartender of the Year, Tales of Cocktails. So he is 
quite an expert, and uh, we're moving on to, we just made a sidecar, we're moving on to um, a cocktail that you made up the recipe yourself, right? Yep. All right. So yeah. the next drink called Benton Cappuccino. Uh, it's say cappuccino, but it doesn't have any coffee in it. Uh, I'll explain you later. Uh, so Benton is a very traditional drink from uh, Czech Republic. Okay. So I I travel pretty much all over, all over the world, and then when I went to uh, Prague, uh, people always drink beer mm -hmm. or either uh, Benton, which is Beshelovka. This is very traditional herbal liqueur from Prague and they mix with the tonic. So they take the uh, first letter, so say beton. Okay. So special of kind tonic. So this is twist of a special of kind tonic. Okay. And looks like cappuccino, so that's why it's called beton cappuccino. It looks like a cappuccino. It looks like a cappuccino, so it's there. Okay. That's why it's called beton cappuccino. I see, okay. But it doesn't necessarily taste no. like a cappuccino. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if anybody's confused when they're drinking it, yep. they shouldn't expect a coffee flavor. Exactly. It just looks like so Beshelovka is not very popular in the U.S., but this is one of my favorite uh, herbal liqueur. Uh, nice uh, cinnamon and bitter flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very nice. Uh, um, can you get that in most liquor stores? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can enjoy with the tonic or soda or shot mm. and chill. You know, it's very useful. Very like maritime type of uh, mm -hmm. herbal liqueur. And how much are you ml. putting in? Twenty ml. Okay. And then mezcal. Um, also, I love Mexico and mezcal. I've been to Oaxaca, uh, the birth of the mezcal town, many times. So mm -hmm. I love uh, the smokiness of uh, mezcal. So 20 ml of this. And this is uh, infusion, the fat washing with the cacao powder. So you have a uh, um, chocolate note mm -hmm. to it. So equal part, 20, 20 each. And then cream cacao to add a little bit more chocolate flavor. So it is a sweeter drink? Well, not really. Uh, it's like a base um, mm -hmm. type of drink. Okay. It's not very sweet type of drink. Okay. Yeah, the sweetness is just comes from just this. Just from that, yeah. okay. And then, um, lemon juice. More lemon juice. Okay. And lemon juice. This is also a twist of uh, uh, Ramos Gin Fizz. Ramos Gin Fizz Ramos is Jean uh, gin, blossom water, citrus, egg white, uh, cream and soda. So okay. this is kind of like between beton and Ramos Gin Fizz. Okay. Is that kind of how you came up with it? I mean, when you're when you're developing a drink like yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. So I was thinking, what can I do with the beton? And then, that like cacao, okay, need something more, egg white, and tonic. So let's have a kind of grid. 30 ml of uh, egg white, organic egg white. And usually people do dry shake, like without shake, uh, without uh, ice, and shake it up to make a foam. Mm -hmm. But I prefer to use um, hand blender to to make a foam. And when you make an uh, egg white drink, don't forget to put a little bit of uh, saltiness, uh, either you know sprinkle of salt or saline to mm -hmm. kill the egg white smell. It's sometimes kind of like a kind of like a fishy you know? note. Egg whites? Yeah. yeah. So if you leave it for a while, so I don't like the kind of smell, so put the uh, salt. So the salt kind of, kind of balances yeah. out exactly. the egg white smell. Oh. So that's just a hand blender for like a few seconds. Yeah, yeah. to make a uh, beautiful form. And again, of course. Gotta taste it. Taste it. <laughs> Without the straw. Without the straw, of course. <laughs> Right, so this drink need more dilution, and you, you can need uh, you need to be chilled more. So put more ice, more. <laughs> I feel like I should slightly, applaud every time you do that. Slightly <laughs> different shape. Yeah. Um, and when you use uh, egg white, always uh, make sure that will strain. Because you don't want the pieces. To make it more uh, silkier, smoother. Smoother, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Anytime you do an egg white drink, you yep. should strain it, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> and then on the top of your drink, uh, tiny quarter. Uh, I particularly use uh, fever tree. Because I like the flavor. Just a little bit to yeah, that's sweet. Nice and bitter, a little bit. And then garnish with the lemon on the side. Beautiful. So you don't mix the tonic in after you pour it in, right? Oh, a little bit. Oh, Just I'm impatient. Bit, yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't have any ice, so it's easy to mix it. When you pour the tonic water, it's kind of already mixed it. So you just mix it a little bit. And then, on the top, add a little bit more chocolate leaf flavor, uh, cocoa powder. So it, now it does look like uh, cappuccino. Yeah, it really so does. So it looks like a very creamy, milky, heavy drink. Right. But it doesn't have any coffee. It's more like a refreshing, but it's chocolate at the end. So it's like a kind of in between. Um, you know, like a nutty and refreshing type of drink. Nutty and refreshing. Yeah. Do you think it's uh, like, I mean, is this the type of thing you can drink any time of the year or is it yeah, good for yeah, a specific season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, year yeah. Year round. Anytime. All right, great. Before dinner, after dinner, <laughs> during dinner. <laughs> during dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anytime, really. Anytime. Yeah. Um, all right, great. So these are both drinks on the menu here at Amitsu, right? Well, uh, we don't put the very classic drink on the menu, but we can always make it for the you guests. You can always, okay. Yeah. Uh, but this drink, yes, uh, we put on the drink. A new menu since uh, last, last month. Okay. Oh, this is, so this is a new drink. New drink. Oh, yeah. wow. So we're really getting first look. Um, all right, great. So uh, Shingo is going to be here at Amitsu tonight and tomorrow night, right? Um, it is reservation only, um, so if you wanted to come by, uh, you can call 404-257-6693 or email hello at P-U-R-A-I-B-E-T-O dot com, dot com. Um, and Mitsu is located at 3050 Peachtree Road Northeast in Buckhead. Uh, thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.